The hierarchy of power in the DC Universe is about to change. And by DC Universe, I mean Disney Cinematic Universe, because a live-action Moana is on the way. Dwayne Johnson is reprising that role. Of course he is. Let's talk about it. The soulless, empty, money-grubbing corporation known as Disney is at it again. They have another live-action movie coming our way. Moana, based on the hit film all the way back in 2016. It's been seven years. Seven. Tom, from the House of Mouse, the people that brought us the live-action Pinocchio, the people that brought us the live-action Dumbo, the people that brought us the live-action Lady and the Tramp, that seriously exists, that there was a movie. On Disney Plus, Lady and the Tramp remake. No, nobody saw it. Zero people. Comment if you actually watched that movie. Because I'm convinced no one did. Oh, they're also doing a live action Aristocats. <laughs> We're all craving it. We're all craving that catnip. Anyway, let's talk Moana. What do we have to expect? Well, Maui's back, baby. And he's played by Dwayne Johnson again. But this time in live action form. Johnson's also producing this. He announced it live from Hawaii during a shareholders meeting. I couldn't be less excited if I tried. I've talked about this several times in the past. There is zero live action version that surpasses the original in any way, shape, or form. The animated classics are beloved because they did it right the first time around. So if it ain't broke, just build the same exact thing again is what Disney's thinking, and that's often the case. Like the Lion King, Aladdin, sure they add maybe one more song here or there, but oftentimes they're ripping off their own shit. Right down to the shot for shot storyboards. The Little Mermaid's coming out soon, that looks to be the same thing. Dull, lifeless animation. CG is very realistic, but why do we want that? I like animals with personality. I don't want to see a crab be a crab. That's boring. Why not just make a Moana too? Why go with the live action route? You know Frozen's next. You know they're going to do a Frozen 3 and then they're going to go live action with it. Get that Disney cinematic princess universe thing. And I can tell you with 100% confidence that Disney doesn't give a crap about these films from a cinematic, story-driven standpoint. These aren't things they're gonna put feathers in. This isn't a cap for them to wear, Peter Pan style, no. These are nothing more than money generators. You can go to their theme park and you will not see live action anything. It's all still the animated originals. The rides are themed that way, the merch is sold that way, the characters are dressed that way. You don't see live-action Mufasa walking around, you'd frighten the kids! Dwayne Johnson as Maui is probably his best character because he actually feels like a living, breathing character that's not The Rock. But now that The Rock is actually going to physically be him, I just don't see it. I really don't, and I don't want to see it. But now I want to hear your thoughts. Are you sick of this yet? Do you remember when Disney would randomly make a live-action film, like 101 Dalmatians, and then just give it a rest? for like a decade. Those were good times. They would make original things. Creative, beautifully animated, wonderfully entertaining, and not just the same crap over and over again. When are we gonna go live action Toy Story? And that, that'll be frightening beyond all compare. It'll happen. It'll happen. Let me know in the comments. Like this video if you had a good time. Please think about subscribing if you haven't as I post tons of movie related content each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. Take care. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. Hope you had a good time. If you really like what I'm doing and you want to support this one-man operation, please think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's even a $1 membership, so if you're like, I, I like the guy, but I don't love the guy, you could start there. And even at the $1 tier, there are 300 exclusive videos that are only for Patreons and YouTube join members. That's right, you could also become a YouTube member. And both of these platforms have the option to support at the Mithril membership, which is my favorite tier offering. If you stick with me for the year, you can get up to four movie requests of your own. I shout your name out in the video, and I mean, I give you a full review. It's a, it's a great time. I think uh, it's fair for both parties involved. So check me out at those places, and thanks again for watching.